Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 18th, 18th of April 2022. Okay, I'm gonna start immediately with Monday, the 18th of April for you Aquarius and you have the world. Tuesday, five of wands. Wednesday, eight of wands. Thursday, seven of pentacles. Friday, the lovers. Saturday, seven of wands. And Sunday with the king of pentacles. Six of, six of cups, your influencing energy. Okay, now, the world on Monday with nine of wands, five of wands, Tuesday with five of swords, eight of wands with queen of swords, seven of pentacles with ten of pentacles Thursday, the lovers Friday with king of wands, seven of wands with four of wands. King of Pentacles with three of swords, Aquarius, seven of swords with six of um, cups, your influencing energy. Look, this is kind of very tricky energy, trying to avoid some sort of conflict or people or situation, uh, something uh, which you were into, okay, this conversation with some people, people from your past, your siblings, your something, people who are in general very dear to you or you are very dear to them, people you know for a very long time, that is, at least that is your common denominator, you people went to school together, you know, you know each other since you were born, could be something like that. But somehow you wanted to avoid this person. You don't want interaction with this person. You don't want this offer. You don't want something, you know, from your childhood. Something which will remind you on your childhood. You see what I'm saying? You are trying to avoid that sort of situation. Otherwise, pleasant situations. Somebody want to bring present. I mean, uh, sends the message, oh, I would like to visit you, bringing bottle of wine. And you are saying, no, I'm not at home, I'm busy. In that sense, kind of energy is silly, avoiding something which is in general quite pleasant. No. The world, you want to complete something in your in your life, some period in, in, in some period in your life, some time in your life. Just that what I was telling you, um, as you're influencing energy, something from last week. You don't want to remember, you don't want to be in that, I don't know, phase in your life where you are still with your siblings or with your school friends. Like you would like maybe to move on to find another group of people to, I don't know, to have something different, not that what you used to have till now. The world energy says successful completion, some period in your life is finishing, but it says not just yet. Nine of wands is effort that you need to put. It's not done yet, okay? You are about to finish this period in your life, but something very unpleasant, something that you are dragging for quite some time, you have to complete. Otherwise, there is loss. It's not going to be so successful, okay, if you don't do that what you are busy with. You see what I'm saying? In that sense, this nine of wands says, yes, if you really want to call it successful completion, okay, do this. Finish that what you have started. Could be something very annoying. Could be something difficult. Could be something that repeats itself over and over again. And you are so sick of it. But now you have to complete it. You have to finish it. You have to finish. You have to do it once again. In that sense, I mean, this energy of nine of wands is kind of you must. You have to. You don't like it, but you have to. You are completing period in your life, but you are putting effort into it. No two fives, two kind of unpleasant fives, talks about people in conflict, both of these. This, um, this is not pleasant day. You and, and in fact, your friends, <laughs> your cousins, your siblings comes again here in conflict. You, all of you, 
fighting. This is bitter energy, people who are jealous with each other, um, mean towards each other. I mean, conflict, hell of a fight here. I mean, a very, very unpleasant energy with friends. Like you're fighting with your friends. You're going to become enemies. It's not going to be friendship anymore, never again. Or you and your sibling or something. Kind of fight. Look, um, we can maybe um, rely on this five of wands that it's not going to be destructive end of the day. Even you are very bitter and very sharp mind in here. You would like to tell them, but you cannot because those were your best friends or those are your cousins. Okay, so you people will poke each other, but it will not bring some sort of destruction, a, a, a relationship won't be broken, it will stay intact, you people will make it up later and harmonize. But you are very bitter yourself, Aquarius, you are not taking it lightly, even perhaps you're not going to say it so much, okay? Eight of Wands with Queen of Swords talks about this is your way, clarity, about some sort of communications, about some sort of things that you're supposed to do, about way to be, way to go. You see what I'm saying? This is how you're supposed to work it out. In that sense, this energy on Wednesday, you know your way now. You know what to do. Being busy, in fact, on this day, but you know why why you are busy, what your intention is. You've got clear intention to manifest somehow. Look, these wands are in the air. And once you bring them down, okay, they will begin to grow. There will be situation out there beginning to manifest. In that sense, you do these preparations and you are busy. You are communicating a lot. Queen of Swords is a talkative. It's communicator. It's a clean mind, factual mind. Um, excellent talker and communicator, lovely energies for you to communicate that what you think, that what you want, that what you do, that what you are preparing yourself for, knowing your directions, knowing why and how you are doing that what you are doing, okay? Knowing what do you want to create and what you're supposed to do in order to create it. In that sense, very clear energy and ready to communicate about it, ready to go through all, all that is needed in order to bring it on the ground and to manifest it. With the Seven of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles on Thursday, look, this energy talks about something valuable which you have and you can use it for your growth, for your development, okay? This is all your investment, perhaps something that used to belong to your family and you are now inheriting. This is your property, okay? We can talk your, you know, piece of land, house, savings, but big amount of money, valuable property. This is something very valuable with longevity, something which is important for the long run. This is long-term investment. You've got your money or something and you are investing. You've got this property, you are, I don't know, redoing it in order to sell it and make some profit or something like that. There is things, there is a valuable thing on this day which you do have. Okay, you can count on so much of money, so much of valuable thing for your future. Very useful thing you have in here for your investment. This is your assets here, okay? And you have it a lot. <laughs> Lovely energy, lots of money, lots of values here you have. And you can do something with that. Perhaps you are thinking what? The lovers and king of wands, beautiful energies for your Friday, great ideas that you have for yourself. King of wands is a very capable, very confident energy. If you didn't have exact idea what to do with these valuables, okay, how to invest them on Friday with this energy, yes, you know that for sure. King of wands has great ideas how to create something in your life for your future and by yourself, okay? You don't need people around you. You don't need anything else but yourself. You've got everything else. Perhaps you do have on this day um, choice, okay? You can invest this or that way. But look, either way, you will be profitable. Either way, it will be fine. It's just maybe which one is more suitable for you, which is easier, which you like better. In that sense, you have to decide between these two. But other ways, whichever way that you go, you will be profitable. You will make it. I mean, this energy, very competent. 
seven of wands and four of wands on Saturday. This is your home, your comfort zone, um, feeling good about yourself, finding yourself very safe, satisfied with yourself, with the place you found yourself. There is this opening, okay? This four of wands stands like a portal and opens the door for you to go for more. You can go for more for the very same thing that how you came to this satisfying position you can go for more of it to make more money to make better career to be even more satisfied and happy and so and so that kind of stable moment basic not much in there very basic but stable safe moment for you comfort zone feeling good stands for your home okay as well for your home for your family might happen um on this day again this conflict with your family i don't know why do i feel it all the time aquarius anyway again you do have arguments arguments perhaps in your home people are asking you look you are holding this wand in here very competent very confident this i'm gonna create and you don't see problem with that you know that you can now the very same wand in here but you're defending yourself with that idea okay now you have to prove to others to your family members that is the great idea it's a perfect idea and why and how they are having questions why do you need to leave this house you can do it together with us the whole family it can be again family business but you don't wanna you wanna be on your own could be something like that whatever that you are talking in here you do have your idea and you're standing firmly stubbornly with your idea you don't want to compromise you will answer these questions but you will have questions queries questions arguments from all sides everybody has something to say and you are defending and you're not gonna give up in that sense i mean you end of the day you're gonna be pleased with yourself that you even managed to deal with you know that kind of um, that kind of internal family um, problems or situations on Saturday. Look, King of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. Somebody, somebody older. Maybe your father. Maybe your boss. Somebody who's maybe business mind. Could be your father here on this day on Sunday. Uh, Capricorn, maybe Taurus or, or Virgo person. As I said, somebody older. Somebody very serious. Or offended you on this day. Said something offensive. This energy of King of Pentacles usually is looking for values in everything usefulness of the situation or even people now perhaps this person out there on sunday try to undermine just that your values your knowledge your abilities you see what i'm saying your ideas about your life about your creation about your business in that sense somebody tries to undermine your values okay your personal or of that what you are doing and you found yourself offended this energy doesn't last long you were offended now on Sunday but give it a couple of days and you will be just fine it's not you know um, it's not something that will last long that will break your heart or something you will get over it particularly if it comes from king of pentacles person which you cannot have nothing much emotional with this this wasn't friendship this isn't love with this person it was maybe business relationship or something of sort so I don't think that is offense which will last long Anyway, Aquarius, I really hope that you're gonna enjoy your week.